I don't know if you want me to try to plug up a light. Uh, I got a flashlight. Okay. I'd rather plug up a light. Let me get a pair of gloves because you don't know what to come myself out at. <laughs> As I'm walking in here. Yep. How you doing back there, buddy? Uh, I'm alive. <laughs> Nothing jump out at you yet? Not yet. Let me get you. Oh, there's a big oh, spider. Man, fucking, uh, water around here. Oh, oh all right. All right. So, <laughs> first we do a water mop. And that one, I'm probably going to keep most of one of most of all. That's a 70. That's a purple roadster right there. I might let that one go if the price is right. And there's another purple roadster. I think no, that's a blue roadster. And there's a hustler. That's that one there. I may let go. And that one over there is a uh, is an MTD. And this one here, there's another roadster. Um, you know, like I said. You know, I had uh, told you, you know, what kind of crazy money I wanted, you know. This one here is a 70. This one here is a, uh, a 71. This one's a 72. This one's a, uh, let's see with the frame. This one's a 71, and that's a 71 as well. What's this one down here? A this one is a bandit. That one there, I believe, is a 71. 71, 72. Uh, that one actually has a Roadster engine on it mm. with the lightning coils. They'll go bananas over that. But, you know. I All right, never had a rough until now. Now I have 15 of them. Known about this hoard for quite some time and was finally able to purchase it. A lot of Roadster 2s, some Roadsters, I think there's a Hustler in there. All pretty complete, but unfortunately have not been stored very well. Some oddballs in there like that guy. There's a Hustler. Enduro over there. My little buddy got the dual engine go-kart. with the original tires on there. And then we got some spares, frames, and this guy, oddball build. Pretty crazy haul. I'm gonna start getting them out, unloaded, power wash them, see what we're working with, but they're all Needing some major work. Well, the unloading process did not go as planned, but uh, here they all are. Finally got them all unloaded, power washed, and uh, we'll walk through here real quick and take a closer look. Um, as you saw in the beginning, this was probably one of the nastiest picks I've ever been on. Unfortunately, these were all pretty nice bikes when the guy got them. He put them in a shipping container, well, let me say, not a shipping container, but it's a tractor trailer box that was sitting on the ground and he put them in there and it had a plywood bottom. So he lived in an area that was pretty heavy in moisture and water came up through the ground and pretty much created a rainforest in that place. So water would go to the ceiling and then pretty much rain down on these bikes. Um, he left them sitting in there for four or five years and didn't even look at them and then 
came in there and found them all rusted and covered in mess. Stuff was falling in on them. It was pretty gross getting these things out. There was mold and mildew everywhere and spiders and bugs, but we got them. He's a little uh, tough on the price, seeing as because he was looking at them as what they used to look like. But we were able to get a deal done, get them back, and uh, start working on cleaning them up. They're all pretty rough, but it was a it was a fun haul. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Uh, I'm still going through working on some old video that I had. Uh, I'm trying to get that posted, and then we'll be up to date here shortly. So stay tuned. Got a lot more stuff like this coming. Mm -hmm.